What is going on guys, it's Dream Sketch here with my first commentary and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make clown logos so the first thing you want to do is file new change and make sure your width is at 800 height is at 800 make sure they are both on pixels resolution on 72 and color mode RGB color for your background contents that can be whatever you want but I prefer white as I can see more so just click OK and when it loads you'd want to double click on this background layer click OK and now you want to go over to gradient tool this could either be the paint bucket tool but we need to use the gradient to add a nice effect and the first thing you want to do is change your colors down here and as you can see down the bottom of mine the first color coordinates are is 5b 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 that has the darker gray effect and the second one is 9e 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 so once you've done that just click ok on both of them and go up here to the top and at the top you see five icons and the second icon is a circle click that as that will add the nice background effects and come back down here and switch these two to make sure the lighter colour is first so now you, what you want to do is click in the middle of your page hold down shift and drag out to the side let go and as you see in the middle there is a nice glow if you'd like the glow to be bigger the further out you stretch the line the bigger the lighter glow in the middle goes so I'm happy with that so the first thing you're going to do is the text box where clans either put their name or the player's name so go up here to the rectangular marquee tool go down here where I am right now and drag out covering the full width of the page and drag down wait I'll try that again because that's a bit too low drag out drag down you don't want it touching the bottom of the page but you do want it having a fair height so you can see the text that you put okay so now add a new layer go over here to the toolbar and you'd like to get the paint bucket tool change your foreground colour to black fill in the highlighter box you've made click the marquee tool again and deselect so now you want to do is have some effects on this box so what you want to do is double click the layer you've made with the box and blend them options what you want to do is opacity you want to drag that down to about 65% as that doesn't stand out too much and you can see the text well behind it so now what you want to do is go to stroke and add whatever colour you want because I'm going to be making the clan logo as red I'm going to make the stroke as red so add the stroke for red okay and then sizing you would like about um, let's say 13 p pixels is quite nice outside post yeah that's all fine so click OK and now you have your text box so I'm just going to make a quick one for my clan that I'm in called Remedy so my text is what I like to use is called Fortnite I'll put it in the description so all you'd like to do uh, is change the font size 72 just write Remedy or whatever your clan name is I like I've got I like that go up here and then click that on red as it blends in nicely and that should be fine so yep that is nice so now what you want to go on to is making the actual clan logo to make the clan logo look nicer go down here to your tools and then click ellipse tool make sure it's on this second colour here oh god nope did not want that to happen first of all make sure you click a new layer so it doesn't change the text like happened to mine and make sure it's on this colour which is 5b 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 now you want to just go into the middle of the page hold alt and shift no sorry start dragging then click alt and shift and then it makes a perfect round circle so around there looks ok on mine add that and position it 
show transform tools so if it's a bit too big you can make it smaller like I have done so doesn't matter if the circles go into the box a bit because you're going to drag that into one above the background layer so it adds this nice effect so now I'm going to show you a basic logo technique so as my can is called Remedy the main logo type is an R so click in the middle of this ellipse tool click R and that's all you need at the moment so if you resize that to how big you want it that looks nice Let's move over a bit so, uh, there now this is where the actual making comes into it so if you go down here to the eraser tool I like to do background eraser tool but it doesn't matter it's whatever you want what I'm going to do is go and rasterize my type layer by clicking R clip uh, uh, sorry right click and rasterize and now I'm going to edit my logo from here so what I'm going to do is just start adding a nice simple effect by clicking and taking off these edges so now I've made a rough outline I'm going to go to my eraser tool and just go over this very neatly can press, press control and plus to zoom in so you don't miss anything and you can get a nice straight line and all I'm going to do is take all this side of the R off and now I've done that I'm going to go back to the background tool and I'm going to try to put a little indent into my R just like that so if I control minus minus a one more for a plus. If you don't like that, just plus it in, and this is your R. So if you move it into the box a bit more, so it's the main layer. This is how you make a clan logo. So as always, if you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe, as it means a lot. And if you want more tutorials, please message me. See you later, guys.